The Dallas Cowboys had a much needed week off with the bye week. I'm joined by Dallas Cowboys insider Mickey Spagnola. Mickey, the biggest question for me, are the Cowboys healthier than they were two weeks ago, especially on defense and in particular, is Micah Parsons ready to come back and play? Well, I think we'll find out more when they get back into practice on Wednesday and Thursday. They used uh, Monday as kind of a, an aerobic type day, a lot of running, a lot of running and catching and covering, but really not a practice. So they'll practice Wednesday, put the pads on Thursday, and I think they'll get a better indication if Micah Parsons is ready to go. Uh, he kind of termed it as still up in the air. Uh, he needs to see if he can get back into practice. I think they feel somewhat optimistic that Deron Bland uh, can get back out there. Kalen Carson, his backup, both of them been out these last several weeks. Uh, I think there's a chance that Eric Kendricks can get back on the field. Uh, same with Tyler Guyton. So uh, I, I think they're moving in the right direction. But then you never know until they get out there and practice because before the Detroit game, uh, Deron Bland was able to practice on Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday. Uh, he woke up and he had a sore foot, the same foot he had surgically repaired for the fractured fifth metatarsal. So uh, we'll see again how those guys will feel after they get some work in, but at least it's trending in the right direction. Sounds like it might be some pretty good news. Next up, the 49ers. It's a team that's been up and down this season. What are you expecting from the matchup on Sunday Night Football? Yeah, it's going to be a tough one because they're pretty desperate, same as the Cowboys. They're coming in at three and four, but they've got injuries too. Uh, they finished the game on Sunday against the Chiefs without uh, their three top wide receivers, and there's a chance all three will still be out. It doesn't look like Christian McCaffrey, who hasn't played uh, all season with uh, Achilles tendonitis, uh, will be ready, and I'm sure they're going to be cautious because they got to buy following the Cowboys game, which would give him another couple uh, weeks of rest. They've also lost some of the guys on defense, so uh, there's a reason why they uh, have struggled some, but just know that their offense has still been pretty productive except for that game against Kansas City. Sometimes when you don't have your top wide receivers out there, uh, the quarterback has to take chances, and Brock Purdy was intercepted uh, three times in that game, probably one of his uh, worst performances since he's been the starting quarterback for San Francisco. So probably got two desperate teams and badly needed to be able to win. Yeah, and talking about the bigger picture, the Cowboys 3-3, three and three. Washington's 5-2 and two right now. How important is it for them to start getting hot and start playing good football so they don't fall too far behind the commanders to have a chance to catch them later? Yeah, and, and remember, you also got to check and see who Washington has played mm -hmm. and who they yet have to play. The good thing about that is the Cowboys still have two games with the Commanders, still have two games with the Eagles. So going forward, if you can get going and win those games, you'll put yourself back in pretty good uh, a, a connection uh, with first place in the NFC East. And really, I think that's all the Cowboys need to think about. They need to think about how to win the NFC East because with uh, the way some of those uh, divisions are going in the NFC uh, with all the teams in the North uh, with winning records at that time. They've got a head start on the couple of the wild card uh, spots. So again, they got to concentrate on be able to do well when they play in these division games. Yeah, that's a good point. The Bears are in last place at four and two <laughs> in that NFC North. Now, what are the keys to a Cowboys victory this Sunday? Well, it would help if they get healthier, so we'll see if Micah Parsons can make it back. Uh, I think they're optimistic about Duran, uh, uh, Duran Land, uh, Bland, excuse me. Uh, Kaylin Carson is back up, and Eric Kendricks, the starting middle linebacker and leading tackler on the team. If they can at least get uh, those guys back, and if Parsons can get back, at least the defense will be a little bit better from a personnel standpoint. Now, the other thing they have to do, and San Francisco's had a pretty good 
uh, run of it when they're running the ball against the Cowboys. Stop that run and maybe you can get some pressure on Brock Purdy and you see what the pressure the Chiefs had on him did in that game getting intercepted three times. Yeah, pressure forces mistakes on quarterbacks. Mickey, thank you so much for joining me. The Cowboys and 49ers on Sunday night football. The game can be seen on NBC6 at 720 on Sunday night.